Hey photographers, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle and I make videos all about creating a photography business that you love. And today's video is going to be a good one. So it's answering the question, how do you do client management without having to buy expensive software? So this is actually coming from somebody that commented this question and I think it's so good because yes, while most of us hear that, you know, do HoneyBook or Dubsado or 17 Hats. All those systems are fantastic. They really are. It's a one-stop shop to just all that client care management. I remember when I first started out, I couldn't afford that. I couldn't justify the means to pay for that. So how was I going to keep everything organized without spending an arm and a leg? And so I'm going to share with you what I did for many, many years in my business before having to upgrade to software. So the first thing I want to share is my wall management system. So I'll throw a video or picture up here to show you. Okay, here is my wall management system in all its glory. Let me go to the side so you can see a little bit better. So yep, there's just two magazine racks that I put on the wall and then I just use sticky notes. You can make it up pretty with nice labels if you want. Um, and I wrote out each step um, that I do with my clients. And then here's the little folders. I have them turn around just for their privacy, um, but they're just plain little envelopes that I put in there. And then I'll just physically, so like I said, like let's say I did their session premiere and that's done. Now I got to order and process their financials. I'll just move it into there. And then that's when I know what step they're on. So it's very affordable and a very nice, big visual way to keep track of your clients through the pipeline and through the client journey. So all I did was buy a couple magazine racks off of Amazon and I just made sure that I got enough racks for what I needed. So what I do with this is it's my client pipeline. So meaning the client process. So I write down every step that I need to do for the client journey. So such as the welcome contract, planning their session, their actual, actual session, their um, editing day, uh, sales, all the delivery of their products, basically all those little steps of what I need to do. And then I just put a sticky note on it. You could do like a cute label if you want, but I just put every step for each rack. And then I just take a blank file folder. I write the client's name on the folder and then I put anything in there related to the client that I need. So I print off their contract, all their financials, if they've paid me like a session retainer or payment plan, um, an order form in there. I also put notes about their session in there just to keep track of everything. So everything goes in their folder. And then once every step is completed or task is done, I physically move the folder to the next slot. And that's just such a really good visual of where my clients are at in the pipeline, what I need to do next for each client without feeling like scatterbrained and so forth. <laughs> and then the next really key part that I recommend is getting a planner to write in. If you like digital stuff, go for it. I still love to physically write down like my session days and all that stuff. So I highly recommend the Day Designer. I've been using their product for years and I absolutely love, love their stuff. They've got monthly calendar. They have daily break it down where you can write your top three, list of things to do, plan out your day by hour. It's amazing. So what I do for my planner, not only for daily things to do, but I will write down the client session day and then I work backwards so I know when to send things such as emails. Um, you could do this for a digital calendar too. You could do like Calendly or Acuity has a free version. And that way you can send the link to available session dates um, for your client to sign up with. So there are free versions for that if you would prefer to do that. But I always like to have a physical write down of their session date so I can work backwards from there. Okay, and then other tools that I use to help me accomplish all this. So for sending contracts and client questionnaires, I used JotForm. So J-O-T-F-O-M.com. They do have a free version to get started. Um, so you can definitely use that to digitally send clients contracts and questionnaires. And then you also need a form of payment. So I use Square uh, for a long time and they're free to use as well. And you can actually, they've come a long way actually. You can even schedule out in reoccurring invoices, payment plans, and all those things. So just having kind of a payment portal, um, I recommend something other than PayPal. 
uh, because PayPal always will side with the customer. So in case they're saying that you didn't deliver on the product, um, PayPal will refund them really more than they will take your side on things. So just be aware of that if you're taking PayPal. Um, Venmo, the same thing. I've heard that you're not really supposed to use that for business. I don't know all the details. I'm not saying I do, but it might be better to be a little bit more professional with um, either Stripe or Square. I just know Square is free. Another tool I used for client management was just the canned responses in Gmail. So basically, you can create a template in Gmail um, that you can use over and over again. So if you're kind of writing the same email over and over again, I would definitely do a canned response in Gmail, and that can be kind of like your email template. So it just speeds up the process and is a little bit easier on your end. Let me know if any of those tools mentioned today were helpful to you. If you're going to try out a wall management system or if you have one of your own. Um, I love organization. Like I'm a little bit of a freak when it comes to that stuff. I love to be very organized. I think that's key to running any business is being organized or hiring someone that's really good being organized. Which I know is funny because in the creative field that's not usually the case. But I have to have a clean organized space or I feel like I can't have the room to think <laughs> if that makes sense. So let me know if you're the same way in the comments below. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.